Okay, happy morning everyone. Happy morning, my Splotus Masters and as team guest. I'm not sure if uh, there is a guest here, but I have uh, very familiar faces like those Master Rafi and then those Master Mike Lim, those Master Elias again. Happy morning and I hope that you are in a great shape. And we have we have in online, we have JB, we have Toastmaster Uma, and we have Yvonne as well. And I would like to say happy morning to the offline people, on-site people there. How are you? <laughs> okay, great. So I'm acting as an SAA tonight. Uh, I will read the house rules, especially for the online people, online attendance here. Uh, we have a certain rules that we need to OB, right? To make sure that, that, that this session will be going smoothly. First, be on time. Thank you so much for being here, even earlier than the, 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 the time. Uh, and uh, yeah, it will be it will be helpful when we are coming on time or even earlier, so that the the session will be will be ended also on time. Thank you so much. And then second, in your Zoom account, your Zoom name, please identify yourself properly. For example, if me, I am a Toastmaster, I will. Sorry, if for example, Toastmaster Mike Lim. Uh, you are a visiting Toastmaster, so you have to name yourself like BTM dash name, your name, and then also your class name. For example, if you are guest or you're non Toastmaster member, please rename yourself with G as a guest and dash name. Okay, and then turn on your camera. Make sure that your face is within the video frame. Uh, this is when when possible. Yeah, if we, if you have something uh, hindered that you cannot turn on your camera, it's, it's okay. And then the next one, keep your microphone on mute. Mute your microphone whenever you are not speaking. When it's your turn to speak, just remember to unmute your microphone. Okay, so that will not be have a very uh noise background when someone is talking because it's not nice. And then the last one, be fully present and have fun. Have fun means serious and also we have fun. Pay attention and participate actively. Use the chat box to leave any feedbacks or encouragement to the speakers. When, for example, like speakers want you to unmute yourself, please feel free to unmute your microphone. I think that's all from me. I guess I have to give the control to our PPE, Toastmaster Alvin. Thank you, Toastmaster Egung. Hello, everyone. Happy morning. Thank you for coming to STB Hybrid Settings. We have Toastmaster Lai, our guest star here, coming from Malaysia, and also Toastmaster Yusra. Thank you so much for coming. We also have Toastmaster Resita, flying from Surabaya. Just to come to CBD, <laughs> we have Toastmaster Karina, Toastmaster Fahmi from Essential, and Toastmaster Debbie from Maranatha Toastmaster. Thank you so much for coming. Yay! And, and we, in the online, we also have Toast, this thing is Toastmaster Rafi. And Toastmaster Mike, Uncle Mike. Hello, Uncle Mike. And now let's have some fun. Wait a minute. Oops. Yeah, that is the blank screen. Yeah, uh, the ghost, yeah, the ghost is interrupting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, ghost want to join yeah, but not become member yet. That's what happened. To verify 
slides. Okay, forget about slide lah ya. <laughs> okay, thank you and welcome to SCB Toastmasters, the place for you to learn and not only public speaking but also what? Leadership. Thank you. And in Toastmasters, we have 11 pathways. Start from dynamic leadership, engaging humor, will be based on what is your challenge in your daily life. Then you can select what pathway do you want for example i was lack of leadership i even cannot decide what to eat at lunch ah what to eat at lunch uh whatever lah whatever yeah at the end of the day i eat uh, something that i don't like and the rest of the day i become sorrow and our meeting club is every friday like this 7 p.m uh please join we are in our online setting also in every Friday, 7 p.m. But not only that, we also have Toastmaster around the world. Woo! We have Toastmaster Resita Club every Thursday, 7 p.m. And Toastmaster Yusra, what is your schedule? Wednesday night on Toastmaster Yusra Club UMS. Right? And Toy Han is every Thursday and Saturday. Wow, more than one. Okay, and Toastmaster Karina from Essential have it every Thursday, Thursday night. And from Maranatha, we have every Wednesday party. So it is official now every Friday, every Wednesday, no longer on Saturday. Yeah? Okay, and that's all. Let's call our Toastmaster of the meeting. Just for information, this is her very first time as Toastmaster of the meeting, yay! Oh, Ooh, thank you, Toastmaster Alvin. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Hello, guys. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Alvin. Yeah, happy morning, everybody. Morning, happy. <laughs> happy morning. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, dear my fellow Toastmaster and guests, my name is Sakti. Tonight, I'll I'll be your Toastmaster of meeting. As we knew that our theme is you are the leader. So I want to ask you to stand up. Oh. Stand up. And follow after me. You are the leader. You are the leader. Okay. So I think we need to show up about our spirit more so uh here's the thing when i ask you who are you and then you say that i am the leader okay ready okay. yes okay, let's figure it out who are you i am the leader, I am the leader. okay uh who are you? I am the leader. I am the leader. Okay, thank you. Just take your seat back. So generally, the meaning of leader is someone who leads, drive, and also influence, and also govern. As you know that our word of the day is govern, guys. So I want to remind you to use this word of the day many times as you could. And for this section, or in this night, in this tonight, uh, tonight's meeting, we have a three sections. The first one is prepared speech, and the second one is table topic speech, and uh, section three is the evaluation speech. For that, I wanted to call um, for our general evaluator, Toastmaster Yvonne, to get to know the Rangers of Evolution team. Over to you, Toastmaster Yvonne. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Safety. Thank you so much. Hello. Happy morning, everyone. Hello. Thank you 
so much. I'm so happy to be here, especially to see everyone from the meeting. And especially our guests, uh, thank you for joining tonight's meeting. I'm very, it's my pleasure to serve as a general evaluator for tonight's meeting. So according to tonight's meeting, we have the three sessions uh, just now TM, TME already uh, introduced. So my portion is in the general evaluation. And this session later, I will give you the detail of the session. So according the Toastmaster program, every meeting, actually we have very important helper. They are very important person help us to run the meeting together. So tonight I will introduce uh, three very important person. So everyone, can you guess who will lay? Yeah, first uh, I will introduce the very important person uh, who is the timer and they will, uh, he will introduce the purpose of, of his job. So the timer is essential in the Toastmaster meeting because who can conduct the meeting smoothly and enjoy all the meeting uh, on time. So tonight, uh, let us welcome our tonight's timer. The timer is Hak Gong. Toastmaster, please help me welcome our timer, Hak Gong, Toastmaster Hak Gong. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Yay. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Yvonne, for the introduction. Yes, I am the timer. My name is Agung. I will time the pre prepared speeches and also the table topic speakers and also the evaluators for tonight. Please alert each speaker of the time that uh, I will alert each speaker that, uh, that the time they have left using the green, yellow, and also the red background here. My background will be turned into the colors. In order to be eligible for voting, speakers need to finish their speech as soon as possible. Yeah. So tonight we'll, we will have a prepared speech, which have, I think to check again, uh, three prepared speakers. So first, and second speaker will be having five to seven minutes, means that if they already spoke five minutes, I will alert, I will change my background into green. And then if six minutes, yellow, and then seven minutes, red. Okay, that is for Toastmaster Ravi and Toastmaster Nuni because you have five to seven minutes. Okay, understood all? Then uh, the third speaker will be Toastmaster Donna. This is very special because she will speak in 18 to 22 minutes, okay? So for her, when she already spoke 18 minutes, one eight minutes, yeah? I will change my background into green. And then if 20 minutes, yellow, and then 22 minutes red. So when I already changed my background into red like this, please, the speakers need, uh, it, it's a sign that you need to wrap up your speech within the thir 30 seconds. So, so that you will be eligible to be voted. And then also for this table topic speaker, you have one to two minutes speak, uh, time to speak means that one minute, I will change my ground into green, one minute, 30 seconds, yellow, and then two minutes, red. And for the evaluators, you have two minutes, green, two minutes, 30 seconds, yellow, and then three minutes, red. Again, when you, when, when I already changed my micro into red, please wrap up your speech as soon as possible within 30, 30 seconds, 
so that you are eligible to be voted. And I will report the time after each session. I will report and the ballot counter will, will get my report and then uh, will present who is eligible and not eligible. Okay, I think that's all from me. Uh, I will give my control to Toastmaster Yvonne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster Agong. Hello, everyone. Give him a big applause. Thank you so much. Okay. Now Ooh. for the role taker introduction, the next one is also very important. We are in the world counter. Uh, she will help us how to break our habits. So tonight our counter is Toastmaster Yu Uyin. Uyin. Yeah. I think is she is online or offline? Offline. Okay, okay. Welcome, welcome, Wu Yin. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Yvonne, for introducing me. Hello, happy morning, everyone. My name is Wu Yun, and today I'll serve a role as a NWOD counter. As a AH counter, basically, I will note down how many times you mention filler words such as AH, um, er, uh, that kind of thing. So I will count that one AH. How does it? One ah is one. I will not discount it. <laughs> Hope uh, I don't want to be busy counting your ah or repetitive words, but I want to be busy to note down how many times you mention word of the day, and that is govern. It is uh, a verb, but I, for that I will give you discount. If you make a word from govern, for example, governance or governing governs the variety of govern, then I will give you one point. So please uh, use it in your speech as, man as many as possible. By the end of this report, I will be back to report uh, whether I am busy today or not. Okay, back to you, Toastmaster Yvonne. Thank you, Toastmaster Wuyin. Thank you, very clear explanation. So for the next, the role taker, I would like to call on our grammarian. Uh, please uh, introduce your role. So how grammarian is very important and it can help us to grow. Uh, so the type of grammarian is uh, Toastmaster Erwin. Please, uh, everyone, please help me join. Welcome Toastmaster Erwin. Yes, thank you, Toastmaster Yvonne. I will replace Toastmaster Adrian as the grammarian because uh, he is way. Right. So, my responsibilities are first to recognize the error in pronunciation, and the second is to recognize a grammatical error, and last but, uh, but not least, to note quotes of the day so it can energize your whole week for the next week at least yeah and also my responsibility is to introduce our word of the day to explain it more which is govern can i have your voice govern 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 once again govern govern govern, govern. So what is govern govern means to legally control a country Ooh. or its people and be responsible for introducing new laws, organizing public service, and etc. For example, the country is governed by elected representative of the people because the theme is you are the leader, and sometimes or most of the time you need to govern, and people will ask you for advice. That's all my role. Back to you, Toastmaster Yvonne, our GE. Hey, thank you, thank you. I will thank you so much, our oh, grammarian. Uh, thank you. So grammarian will take note and uh, give us the grammatical analysis. While later you may help us, so learn to help us to improve our English. Thank you. So let's move on our last uh, role taker. Uh, the the role taker tonight. The role taker is. Uh, our fellow counter 
a better counter, so she will introduce his role. How the role taker party will help us tonight's meeting. Okay, now let's welcome Toastmaster Davy. Welcome, Davy. Hello. Hi. Good morning, everyone. My name is Debbie. I'm from Maranatha Toastmaster Club, and I will serve as a ballot counter for tonight. And I will cast a ballot for voting after each session. So please check your chat box for my link. Thank you. Back to you, G. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. So tonight, the for, for my introduction of our role, uh, Tag tonight. I'm very grateful if we don't have this role taker, the meeting is impossible to run smoothly. And uh, so, as the general evalu evaluator, I will evaluate the whole meeting uh, later. So, what is supposed to have for tonight's meeting? And uh, at the end of the meeting, I will also uh go back to with all of you evaluation in the evaluation session so now everyone please enjoy the meeting now let me get me my control back to our toastmaster of the day step please yay thank, thank you toastmaster yvonne yeah so now we would move into the first section which is prepared speech the first speech would be delivered by distinguished Toastmaster Ravi. Let me give a glimpse of his background. So, distinguished Toastmaster Ravi is a lifelong honorable member of the Kota Kinabalu Toastmaster in Sabah, which he founded and chartered way back in 1999, having served as its charter president for the first two years, and he considers this to be his home club. He is also a dual member of the Mid Valley Toastmaster Club in Kuala Lumpur. He is presently working on his second Distinguished Toastmaster, this time using the pathways, and um, he is passionate about lifelong learning and improving himself. And now I'd like to call Toastmaster Andika, who would introduce his project to us. Toastmaster Andika, the screen is yours. Thank you, Tom. We are going to listen to the project of Distinguished And the project is about connect with Smelly. For distinguished Toastmaster Ravi, yes. without Subramaniam, stop. Okay. Stop. Think again, Rabindram. Do you know of anyone who does a toast for the dog? My mother did each morning when she went into the kitchen. And as if that was not enough, she would lovingly spread marmalade onto it before giving it to our pet dog, Chico. And Chico would not pause to think let alone think again. He would launch for the morsel. And Ma will say, Sololi, Chico, Sololi, Sololi. Ma was unable to pronounce the word slowly in English, but she had her own unique way of communicating love to all. Soon, Chico was taking it for granted. You may say that he was governed 
by his DNA. But me too, I took after him in no time. You see, if I was late out of my room for breakfast, Ma will totter into my room with the tea, toast, and whatever else there is for breakfast right into my room. It was really doggone. I was pot rotten. But Ma, being a smart cookie, along with the breakfast, she will bring me a list of errands to do. But me, I would invariably neglect to do them. So much so, it became a habit. There was one errand that I failed to do, which taught me a very good lesson. Simple as it may be, but a profound message left behind. And I must share the story with you. You see, Ma was an investor, a weekend investor in lotteries, which we have here in Malaysia. So come every weekend, Ma will make a long list of numbers and together with the cash, give it to me to go and place the bets. But me, as usual, I will neglect to buy them. But worse, to compound it, I'll pocket that money and pretend like as though I've bought the numbers. Well, the numbers never came out. So all fine and dandy, months passed, no issue. But one fine day, Ma rushed into my room, clearly over the moon, excited. Today, we struck first prize. I went pale. I froze. You know, I have not bought the numbers. So I stood there like a statue without liberty. And Ma stood solid like the rock of Gibraltar, looking straight into my eyes and saying, show me the numbers. I meekly said, I have not bought the numbers, Ma. Ma's face turned whiter than white, like, as if she had seen the devil in me. I changed tune immediately. I just said, Ma, don't worry. The numbers are in the car. Let me go and catch them. I scampered out of the house before Ma could realize that things are not adding up. I wanted to drive as far away as possible from Ma's home, but I kept going in circles around the neighborhood instead. Call it Ma's gravitational pull. I was like a rat caught in a trap. I had been cheating Ma. The chickens had finally come home to roost. I was frantic, I was desperate, I was frenzied. It was only at the traffic lights when it turned green and I did not realize that the lorry at the back gave me a big blast of the horn. I woke up and realized I must make good the situation at whatever personal cost. I dragged myself all the way to the bank withdrew 13,000 ringgit Malaysia, the equivalent of the winnings from my own account, the drags. I came back home. I gave Ma the clean, new, sweet smelling new notes to Ma. 13 bundles of 1,000 ringgit each. You should have seen her face. It lit up like the lights at the stadium being switched on for the night's football match. Ma grinned from year to year. I had not seen Ma so happy for so long. Ma slipped away two years ago. To say that is a somber occasion would be an understatement. I was at the crematorium when they wheeled her up to the incinerator. I had one last look at Ma. I felt both guilty and ashamed. More tears started rolling out. I had been cheating Ma. But pray tell me what good is it of crying after spilt milk? So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Far too often when things are going fine and dandy, we tend to take things for granted and bad habits creeping insidiously 
and take root, take the better of us. Well, I have learned a terrible lesson. Never to take things for granted. Should I ever come to a situation like that to stop and think again? Well, you may say that this is a simple message. It's as simple as ABC. It's not rocket science. It's not quantum physics. But I had to go through a hard lesson like this to drive home the message. So fellow Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen, after having gone through this and many other of similar incidences, my message to you is stop. Do not take things for granted, for it affects health, safety, relationships, opportunities, you name it, you can have it. Taking for granted is one of the most serious things that the world faces. The Titanic sank because they took it for granted. You know the rest of the story. So I tell it to you clear and loud. Should you come close to taking things for granted? I say, stop, think again. Back to you, Toastmaster of the evening. Ooh. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Ravi. Hmm, I wanted to emphasize it again. Stop. Don't take it for granted. How? Well, right now, we would move to the next speaker. Toastmaster Nuning. And I'd like to invite Toastmaster Lee to inform us about Toastmaster Nuning's project. Toastmaster Lai, over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Today, Toastmaster Nuning is going to do the project from the uh, dynamic leadership with the project evolution and feedback for speech. For the purpose of this speech is for Nuning to deliver any speech and apply the feedback that we give her for second speech. That she will need to apply it. Nuning, are you ready? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Fellow members in this library, are you ready to listen to Nuning? Ready! Toastmaster Nuning, how to succeed? Get more sleep. How to succeed? Get more sleep. Toastmaster Nuning, please. Happy morning, fellow Toastmaster. Finally, Happy morning. <laughs> finally, it's the end of the week. How are you doing? Tired or yeah. still energized? Tired. Tired. Yeah, tired yeah. <laughs> Let me also check how did you govern your week? Did you manage a good sleep? How many hours did you sleep in average this week? One. Five. What? One hour? <laughs> Five, six. Seven. Seven. Okay. Sounds good. Some people sleep short hours. Some people um, sleep long hours. This evening, I would like to share a big idea to help you succeed in what you aim for. However, my idea is actually a very small idea but it can unlock the ideas what you have at the moment that is in, uh, hidden in your head. That little idea is sleep. Yes, get more sleep. I learned the hard way about the value of sleeping. Few years back, I fainted after my project presentation. It was a super hectic mom. Uh, I was chasing the project deadline, so I worked late night for many days and sleep very little. After I did my project presentation, out of the blue, I felt dizzy and suddenly everything turned black. I woke up. I was in the hospital emergency room. At that moment is when I began my journey to get enough sleep as part of my life discipline. For centuries, our sleeping pattern was dictated by the sun. We work when the day is bright and when it gets dark, it's our time to take rest. 
then the electricity and light bulb was invented in the late of 18th century. With this, we can work anytime without the sun, even at night. So we start to squeeze in more activity in the evening. Somehow it also made us feel productive, right? Since then, our relationship with sleeping and rest started to change. Our sleeping becoming shorter because our to-do list has becoming longer. We want to do more to become successful. It become worse in today's modern life where busy is seen to be productive and digital revolution also made us want to be available 24 seven. The story is then we say bye-bye to good sleep. That's how we end up tired on Friday evening, right? <laughs> WHO said that two out of three adults failed to get seven to eight hours of sleep. And insomnia is now a uh, racing issues globally, which is becoming a funny problem as well, because for some people, they are bragging about their insomnia and sleep dep deprivation. They proud saying about it because it seems to show them how, how they have been productive and how they have been, uh, they have been um, hustling. By the way, that's not right, okay? Not sleeping or sleeping very little is not healthy at all. It affects how our brain works, our ability to concentrate, keeping memories, and it's also affecting our emotion, how we govern our emotion. I give you a comparison with the world leader. People like Barack Obama and Bill Gates. There are leaders who believe that enough sleep is critical for decision making and innovation. So they sleep seven hours. And we see how they perform in daily life. They always present themselves with sharp thinking, calm and composed in any situation. And we see another comparison. On the other hand is Donald Trump. Mm. He doesn't like to sleep. He sleep only three, four hours. And we witness on television, most of the time he is restless, moody, and often make terrible ideas. As we sleep, our body and brain undergo series of chains. Why we need six to eight hours sleeps? Because there are five stages in sleep cycle. And during this time, our body repair itself. We cannot undercut it as it will disturb our body ability to repair the damage and well, we'll, we'll get fatigued when we wake up in the morning. As we sleep, as we are subconscious, our brain actively consolidate memories. They repair the muscle and tissues as well and release hormone. So then more than just recharging our energy, sleep is actually playing important role in improving our body metabolism, immune function, and also enhancing our concentration and cognition. In a short, sleep makes us fitter, healthier, happier, and more productive. Those are the elements that are very important that when we want to thrive and succeed in uh, chasing our dream. So my fellow Toastmaster and guests, this is Friday night and Friday night is a good moment to reflect about how the week's going and if we want to reset our habit into a good one. Getting a night of good sleep is not only healthy for your body, but also for your business as well or your work. You wake up feeling rejuvenated physically, mentally, as well as emotionally, and you're ready to take on the day. Welcome any challenge, even the unexpected one. It is with restorative sleep that you can catch up with all the demand of the grind, unleash your creative mind, and at the end, achieve the success. With this, I invite you to close your eyes and discover great ideas that you have in your head, then shut your engine and discover the power of sleep. My fellow Toastmaster and guests, Thank you, and I wish you had a good weekend and great sleep as well. Thank you.
Woo! Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Nooning. So here we get a, an advice from her that sleeping is essential for our healthy life. Be courageous to pay attention as well to the better. Thank you, Toastmaster Nooning, for sharing. Now we move to the next one. Uh, here we have uh, Toastmaster Donna. Wait for a while. So I wanted to um, inform you about her background briefly. She's an author of nine books. Well, wow. an admirer of art, a bedroom songwriter, a castle designer, and a moonlight entrepreneur. Whoa. She aspires to be a fine addition to any eight branch and cousin rule three on top of being a formidable, hated, and reliable helm to any team she takes part in. And here, I'd like to call Toastmaster Jenison as her evaluator to inform us about um, Toastmaster Donna Toastmaster Donna's project. Over to you, Toastmaster again. Thank you, Septi. For this speech, Donna has prepared an 18 to 22 minute speech to deliver for us. And the purpose of this speech is for the member, Donna, to practice developing and presenting a longer speech. And Donna has been working to build the skills necessary to engage an audience for an extended period of time. Good luck to you, Donna, and have fun on stage. Can you hear me now? Okay. So if you heard me walk all the way here, you could hear me clip it, clip it up, clip it, clip it up. That is me setting up your expectation about me. That is what you can do with your appearance, which is why I'm looking like this today. Oh, thank you. Okay, can you see my screen now? Perfect. So what I am about to talk about today is dressing according to your personality, your undertone, and your body type. It is something we often see online and we might want to get used to practicing more often in our daily lives. So here's a very surprising statistic. People can tell with, within 0.1 seconds who is going to win an election. So if you were shown two candidates of a presidential election and you choose between the two and they just say oh, like that that's how short the video is you could tell who would win that's a study from princeton university so what does that tell us it means that you have to look on point and dress your best so that you can always impress anyone you encounter why because first impressions happen because humans have eyes. That's what eyes are for. We make snap judgments based on what we see. And anyway, good clothes make you feel good. If you're dressed drab, you're dressed haphazardly, you'll feel that throughout the day and you won't carry yourself as tall and as confidently as you would if you'd prepared yourself and looked better. So what are the components of good personal style? They are body type, undertone, and personality. So this is the human body in three dimensions. 
Oh, nothing. Okay. Okay, so this is the human body in three dimensions. So if you can imagine a block, you remember high school math, right? Okay, so if you remember high school math, there's the x-axis, there's the y-axis, and there's the z-axis. Nah, me? I'm small, so I'm a little challenged in the y-axis. Nah, if you're someone who's very hot, like in Kardashian, for example, then you're more endowed and more blessed in the z-axis. You see that? Nah. So those are the ways. Same same person like Kim Kardashian or Beyonce, they're also more endowed in the x-axis as well. So that's how we're going to refer to um, people's dimensions today. Okay. So now, these are the general body types that people generally have. It doesn't matter how big you are. So there are triangles and rectangles. People who have narrow shoulders and bigger hips, they are upright triangles. If they're a lady, they're a pair. Me, I'm a pair myself. I have very tiny shoulders and I have a pretty pronounced waist that I sometimes try to hide, sometimes I try to show. Nah. If you think about Superman, you see he's like, upright and tall and big and with his big shoulders, right? That's an inverted triangle. If you see bodybuilders, if you see um, handsome Squidward, you remember that from uh, SpongeBob? <laughs> He's an inverted triangle. Nah, if you're a little less endowed on the uh, Z axis, if you're not that thick, and if you look from forward, you're just then you're a rectangle. You have the same width between your shoulder, your hips, and your waist. And lastly, you have the hourglass person. That means you have a pretty tall shoulder, and you have a huge waist, and you have a very pronounced hip. So why does it matter? Humans are biological creatures. They are not meant to be cut in half like this. Like, we're not magic property. That's why we look better when we follow the golden ratio rather than 50 50. If you see someone who's exactly 50 50, they look kind of funny, right? Like, why is his body so long compared to his legs? Nah. Has anyone studied art before? Have you? Do you draw? Microphone, please. Yes, I draw. Uh, what do you draw? Mountain, <laughs> mountain, rice, and road. <laughs> uh, so, okay, um, the generic Indonesian kindergarten drawing. Two mountains, one road in between, and paddy fields. I do that too. Okay, let's give a round of applause for Tim Santa Alvin. For... Those of you who are more serious artists, I'm sure you have seen this chart. So in art, we assume that every person is technically eight times the height of their head. So you'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way down. Nah, most people's waists, most people's torsos, they end on head number three or number four. Here's the difference. If you stand up, people, you can do that too, online people. So feel free to stand up if you have a mirror, especially. No, you don't want to? You can. Go on, go on, go on. Okay. So, nah. Look down. Where do your waist up? Like, feel, feel up your legs all the way here. And can you tell where your hip bone stops? Okay. Okay, over there, over there, over there, over there. Perfect. Nah, from there, you could tell whether you're a tall torso person or a tall leg person. Long torso or long legs. So thank you, may sit down, please. All right. So some people end at three, some people end at four, and we have different techniques in how to dress yourselves according to that. Okay, 
All right, no need to come up. You've done your standing up. Great. Now, not only that, the way your clothes fit also really matters. So, Tessa Trahani, would you like to come up to stage, please? Nothing. What you do is nothing. So, hi, can you introduce yourself? Uh, happy morning, everyone. My name is Sunny. Uh, I'm I I work for I uh, wait. I work as a finance treasury. Uh, I have uh five years in experience and uh I I I love talk too much. <laughs> Sometimes I need to be um I need to be uh me time for myself and and just recharge again. So uh feel free if you want to talk to me. I'm very uh open to you. <laughs> thank oh, you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hold on. I'm okay. you're not here to talk, you're here to be my model. Okay. So here, what I need to talk about. Come here. Um, I want to talk about the seam of your clothes. So take a look at this. So Tessar Honey's shirt has the stitching right on her arm bone. That means it's well fitted for her. If it goes all the way here, that means it's too big. If it goes all the way here, that means it's too small. And the hem of her shirt is also perfectly on the end of her waist. So it complements her figure well because it fits her properly. And so does her pants. When your pants bulge, that means it's too small. And when you're billowy like mine without it being on purpose, that means it's too big. So thank you, Tessa Sarani. All right, so what do we do now that we've had all that information? How, what is it for me? How is it practical for my life, right? So this is what you would do. I am not Najwa Shihab, but she is. So this is, this lady is a newscaster, a very famous one in Indonesia. So when she sits down, there's this dance uh, that I used to go in high school. I was in Saman Club. If you're Achenese or you're Jakartan, you would know from public school. Um, the dance is done sitting down. Some of my friends would sit down. We're the same height, and they'd be taller than me. Najwa Shihab would be like that because she has a long torso. Well, I don't. So if you have a long torso, tuck in your shirt and wear a billowy top so that you can accentuate the width of your shoulders. And meanwhile, Tom Holland, wear shorter tops so that your legs can look longer. And next we have Lady Gaga. She is like me. She is a small lady, only 150. So am I 153 or something? Like three centimeters doesn't matter. So make sure you have a short bodice and a billowy bottom to accentuate your waist. And make sure they're also elongated, just like mine. This is what I'm doing. So it doesn't go up here. It goes all the way. And I'm also wearing heels so that my silhouette will go even longer than it actually is. It's called Illusion, sweetheart. Okay. Now, with Benedict Cumberbatch, he has long legs and short torso. He looks like a whole... Ah! If you overdo yourself when you have legs like stilts like that, you might look like that. So be careful. What you want to do is you want to hide your behind with a longer suit. That way, you can hide your legs so that it's not too long. You don't look like stilts. Okay, and here are, here are our queens and our ladies, Beyonce and Rihanna. So with Beyonce, she has a wide shoulder and wide hips with a very pinch waist. You can accentuate that by wearing something tight, or you can wear a flared skirt so that it looks elegant as well. With Rihanna, because she doesn't have such a pronounced body silhouette like Beyonce does, what she can do 
is she can wear a crop top so that her waist looks smaller so that it creates a curve that initially might not be as prominent. What you can also do if you're a lady and you're not too blessed on the positive X axis, what you can do is wear ruffle tops. Okay, now on to colors. So that was a lot about proportions, right? But here's something important, colors. What about it? Okay, so I'm sure you know these ladies. These are Candy Girl, Earth Girl, and Goth Girl. What, what does it matter? So there are cool colors and warm colors. With warm colors, they match better on warm skin and cool colors on cool skin. What are those? That is your undertone. If you take a look at the inside of your wrist, if you see that it's green, that means you have a warm skin tone. If you see that it's blue or purple, that means you have a cool skin tone. Well, so which one are you? Who is warm? Okay, warm. Who's cool? Yeah, cool people, they blush faster. So be careful. Uh, I'm not going to try and embarrass you. Okay. All right. Why? Because... here okay try one more time oh perfect all right what works best for you so you can wear the same shade but have it warm or cool i would like to call Toastmaster yusra alfin uyun and resita please because you guys are wearing different shades of blue and red <laughs> okay so over here we have our model um could you stand here next to Sister Zita? Oh, you are a student stock model. So here, Sister Alvin is cool tone, but he is wearing a warm red. Meanwhile, Sister Yusra is more warm toned than Sister Alvin is, but she's wearing a cooler red. So you guys should switch clothes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so same thing with Sister Zita and Uyun. Um, they're both cool tone and or towards neutral. So Sir Rizita is wearing a cooler shade of blue. Uh, excuse me, a warmer shade of blue. It's a little purple, right? If you look a little closer. Meanwhile, Sir Sir Uyun is wearing a cooler shade of blue. And it's suitable for your skin already. So perfect for Sir Sir Uyun. Okay, so just an example of how tones can change um, just within the same shade of red and blue. Thank you. Okay, so that's what you just saw. Cool red, warm green, how come? Does that even make sense? Yes, it does. If the green is closer to yellow, then it's warm. If the green is closer to blue, then it's cool. Same thing, if the blue is closer to purple, etc. it's warmer, it's cooler. All right, and then we have color proportions. I'd like to call. <laughs> Who would I like to call? I'm probably just going to call everyone at this point. Hi, Tessa Saranika, how are you? So Tessa Saranika over here is a perfect example of wearing accent colors. Over here, his main color is blue. Uh, excuse me, it's white, even though everything else he wears is blue. His shoes are blue, his jeans are blue, his mask is blue. Perfect. Nah. Why is that? Because if you have many colors, you don't want to overcrowd people with the same exact proportion, like 30% blue, 30% something. Like, oh, my head hurts, right? So thank you, Tessa Rezika. What a wonderful example of color proportions. All right. So make sure that you have exactly a right amount of dark colors and subdued colors. Don't overwhelm people's eyes with too many vibrant colors or with too many subdued colors, make sure that they're within the same undertone as well. Okay, oh look, that's me. Okay, so this was me um, going out to eat pho not too long ago. I was wearing 70% a gray skirt, 
and an accent with red at 20%. And I was wearing three colors. What I'm trying to say is you can wear three colors, but make sure that they're at different proportions so that you don't overwhelm someone's eyes. So it's okay to wear yellow on top of the red, but introduce it with a necklace as well so that it's not alone. All right. So you don't need to come up. You already done that. Okay, so colors and proportions, they matter to your personality. Isn't fashion all about self-expression? Right? Okay. So if you want to be goth girl, if you want to be candy girl, if you want to be earthy girl, go for it. Me, can you tell which kind of girl I am? <laughs> yeah, obviously I'm a candy girl. I can't get rid of my colors. Okay, so these are the styles. If you go for casual and colorful, you're definitely candy girl. See them at the local cafe, if you may. If you're very formal, then you're kind of like Queen Elizabeth or Michelle Obama. That's first lady style, colorful and formal. And if you're goth girl, if you've seen the other SJVD over there at the Dukwata train station, you'll see plenty of goth girls and black tie attire. That is when you only wear one color on top of black and white. All right. So in summary, please wear well-fitting clothes, wear proportionate clothes, and proportionalize your colors properly. And also be classy about your curves in case you are a lady who's well endowed uh, on the Z-axis. Um, you can flaunt it, but not too much. You know, if, if you're Beyonce, just be careful. Okay. So, uh, questions, if any, probably just one. Okay. Gonna close the floor. Oh, these are my references. If you wanna click them, I'll let you know if you have them for me. Okay, so that will be it for me, everybody. Um, I hope from this, you can get to express yourself better through fashion and have a better self-confidence while you clickety-clack, clickety-clack, all the way into a brighter life. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you, those master Dona for incredible information that you serve. You have succeeded to make us aware to suit our dress, to our personalities, undertone, and body types. And we also could choose our personality, guys, that you want to bring to the environment, you, that you want to uh, join in or, or get into. Um, for example, that you want to be a formal when you uh, get to work environment or maybe when you want to go hang out with your friend you could choose to be a, like a candy girl and so forth right now we would move to the table topic session but the first let us hear the time report from the timer that's master agung screen is yours Yay, thank you so much, Master Septi. Yes, good news that all speakers are eligible to be voted. Ooh, all right. Right now, let us uh, cast our vote. As you've seen, that uh, our ballot counter has shared about the link. Can we um, cast your vote, guys? I give you for 30 seconds, just about 30 seconds. And starting from now. For online audience, please scan the barcode. 
It seems that the time has up. Could we move, Toastmaster Alfi? Or do you need um, extra time, I think? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, we can uh, proceed now to the next session, please. Okay, thank you, Toastmaster Alvin. Now, as I mentioned before, that we enter to the second station, which is table topics, speech station. We have two masters here, guys. There are Toastmaster Yusra and also Toastmaster Vira. As always, we would have a two top performance. Uh, so these two top performers from both of groups uh, would get uh, the battle afterward. Let's jump into it. I would like to call Toastmaster Septi, order. Order, we won't have a battle for tonight, just for tonight. Okay. So we will have two table topic winner. Oh, okay. So I'd like to call the table topic master, Toastmaster Wira or Toastmaster Yusra. Or maybe okay. you want to uh, give, a, I mean about take the control back to break up the room. Okay, first of all, I will uh, open the breakout room and then Toastmaster Wira, please lead on the online session, yeah? Well, yeah. All right. Okay, open the breakout room now. We are okay. Should we start now? <laughs> Hello, Tiamago. All right, morning, happy everybody. Happy, happy, morning. happy. All right. My name is Virata Mahaji Virananda. It's been a long time. And yeah, I'm going to be your table topic master for tonight. For some of you who don't know, table topic is basically I give you a topic and you have to make a speech from one to two minutes. So without further ado, let's start the game. Ah, all right. And don't forget to use the WOD, which is govern, right? So who wants to go first? I can go first uh, if no one wants to, want to volunteer. All right, DTM Ravindran, let's pick your number. Any you number. One until ten. Any number of your choice, sir. Okay, then. If that's the case, I'm going to go with number eight. Thank you. All right. Then. A little bit. Okay. You will be the captain and I will draw the chart. You will you can be the captain and I will draw the chart. Let me copy and paste for you. Ha. Okay. One to two minutes, or you want to go to the speech immediately. Thank you for this uh, topic table topic master. I be the captain and you go the chart. What an apt topic for me, because I come from the world of aviation. And uh, as a captain, somebody else does the chart. But that does not mean to say that I follow it blindly. End of the day, if it's my flight, I am responsible, even though somebody has done the charts and whatever else. So too in life. But of course, uh, it's easier said than done in life because sometimes we think, or in fact, all too often we think that we are in control. But you really think about it. Are we in control? I think otherwise. I'll give you an example. I'm sure all of you go to a building, a high-rise building with a lift, right? The elevator or lift, we'd call it. 
elevator is different lift you can understand when you press the button pray tell me who is controlling who you are controlling the lift or the lift is controlling you by and large you are at the mercy of the lift you are not in control so what chart are you talking about drawing up so end of the day sometimes we just got to surrender ourselves to whatever is charted but that does not necessarily mean you just float along all over the place wishy-washy like i'm doing right now in this table topics you still have to have a destination and in this case my destination is to try to skillfully meander and come to the red light which i pray happens in the next five or ten seconds because i'm running out of ammunition but even then i thank you for this wonderful topic it's something philosophical we can argue about this all day long but i stay resigned to the fact that we are not totally in control the chart is drawn by somebody else you may be the captain but there's somebody even higher up there the lord thank you and back to you sir all right thank you very much toastmaster ravi even though actually i was like you I was like for example somebody can be the captain a back seat but okay you you take make a twist from the stuff that i'm talking about that's so pretty nice so the second speaker is toastmaster elios toastmaster elios are you there here all right so yeah. let's go pick your number because number eight already been chosen ah the day is 10 of february so i should choose one one number one yes number one okay so a leader is one who knows the way goes the way and shows the way one to two minutes toastmaster eleos i have Am I the participant before I start? Yes. Is it clicking here? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters and fellow leaders. A leader is one of who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. I do agree with this statement. Yes, we are readers. Like what Seppi said of her Tom remark, right? And she leads the way. She leads the meeting of today, tonight. And she goes the way with a lot of passion here. She has prepared speech before. And now we have table talking. And we have PTM2 here, Rira. He's a leader. He led the table topic station. And after this, we are going to the third station, the evaluation. You know the structure. You know the struggle. And that's why and how those masters made you into a leader. Because they show the way. Like what Vera did. He asked the question with number that you should choose and then pop up the question. That's how he chose the way to become a TTM is you should do like this. At least this is the standard or this is the SOP of a good table topic. And yes, I do believe after this he is going to give some comments about my Speeches because I want to learn from him, but then I improve from my speeches. And yes, my fellow Toastmasters, fellow leaders, you have learned from the veteran Toastmasters here, CPM Rafi. Also, he's my Sifu, he's so wonderful, so funny. And yes, I learned a lot from his speeches and really touching. And best of luck for those. Who are contesting this season? You are readers, inmates. 
perspective. Yeah, Tom. All right, thank you so much, Toastmaster Elias. Now we go to the next speaker. Who's going to be the next speaker, or should I pick? So, hmm, okay, nobody wants to. Let me pick. Okay, Toastmaster Azar. I thought so. Okay, yes. all right, now. We go pick your number. You can pick your number, number one for uh, the inner ticket. Number 70 is my favorite number. Okay. Number seven. What is your definition of a true leader? Alright. One to two minutes, or you want to think for a while? Like 30 seconds or so. Thank you, Table Topic Master. What a wonderful question. What is the definition of a true leader? To me, it's simple. A true leader is one who not only talks the talk, but also walks the talk and walks the walk. Let me explain to you. For example, you have a project and the project calls for you to do something, some action. A leader will lead the way. He doesn't sit back or go back to the back of the uh, his followers. A leader leads. He doesn't only talk. Of course, he talks to inspire, to motivate, but he also leads the way. He walks the talk. And later, after everything is done, he walks, he talks the walk. Meaning that he reviews, he tells us, tells us how good the activities or the project is, whether it has been successful, whether, it's, whether there is anything else that can be done to improve it, to inspire, also to inspire, and also to make sure the next project or the next activity will be better. So a leader always talk the talk, talk the walk, and walk the walk. He proves to himself that anything that seems impossible or insurmountable can be done anyway if we are together as a team. As they say, if you want to go far, you go. You want, if you want to go fast, you go alone. If you want to go far, you go together. And that is, to me, a true leader. Thank you very much, Table Topic Master. Walk the walk, talk the walk, and talk the talk. That's a good one, Toastmaster Azar. All right, now we go to, you know, I want to pick another, uh, who else? Toastmaster Lim, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, let us pick your number. Okay, number seven are taken. Number two. Okay, numero dos. Okay. Yeah. All right. A leader is best when people barely know he exists. When his work is done, his aim fulfilled, they will say, we did it ourselves. Thank you for such a profound share saying that you shared. According to Lao Tzu, a leader is very no, he exists. Yes, I agree with that. Because when a leader, he will lead his members to and achieve a project, he lead them, he group them together, guide them to do everything. But 
when the results are out, they achieve, they will feel that, wow, all the, all the members, we still feel that, hey, we did it ourselves because they have contributed together to the project and to the successful other project because the leader will not just stand there and proud and say, that, hey, I am the one who I am the one who should take all the uh, compliment because I do it. But a leader, a true leader, will always proud of his followers and he will always put them as the one who achieved the project. And I really hope one day I can be that kind of leader. Back to you, Tabletop Master. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Lim. Yeah, not gonna lie, we all aspire to be that kind of leader. All right, now I want to pay um, Toastmaster Asti from Eagle Toastmaster. <laughs> I saw that shot, okay. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, let us pick your number. Uh, number two, very taken. Okay, I pick number nine since I burned on September. I was born Ooh, okay. on September. Okay. Lens. Oh, that's Hungarian for number nine. What is your leadership story? Have you ever been a leader? If so, what is your story? Have you ever imagined a woman lead of, how do I say, a tiger pack? Because recently, before I become an assistant to the director, I was heading the security here in the plantation company. Cannot imagine that, right? Fellow Toastmaster and distinguished guests. So you know that a woman was classified a uh, fragile and cannot do a uh, hard work. I mean, like, who thinks that a woman can lead the security guard? for a plantation company. So I lead a barely 350 person to take care of 30,000 hectare of area plantation here in the middle of Lampung, Sumatra. But that's not the story going that smooth, okay? Leadership is another thing. When they go for military training, I go with them because I need to show them that I also have the capability to lead them. Then they also questioning whether I can climb. You see, we do the climbing. We also do the all the military the, the military training. So they also question, oh, can you do it? I mean, like you are a woman, all those things, but I have to lead them. So it is not a hard things that people cannot do then block it as it is for men only. For the time being, I've been two years leading a 350% security guard here in the plantation. So no boundaries for us. I mean, like a woman can rule the world. You believe that? So women also can be a leader. Back to you. Thank you. That is badass. As a fan of mixed martial arts, I do watch a lot of females kicking butt, and I do. That's freaking badass. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Asti. I'm going to choose the... Unfortunately, this is going to be the last. And um, who else? Uh, Toastmaster Genison, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Toastmaster Genison. Uh, share. Pick your number. Uh, three. Okay, numero tres. A boss has a title. A leader has the people. By Simon Sinek. Okay, one to two minutes. Toastmaster Genison. Go. 
boss has the title, leader has the people. Well, when we think about it, what is a boss and a leader anyway? We may think in today's connotation that a boss is bossy and a leader can lead a team to success. But I beg to differ. The distinction between boss and leader is just, I would say it's just lost in translation. We could use the word interchangeably if not for the English language. Because in Bahasa Indonesia, for example, boss is described in Bahasa as boss. It's just the absorption of the English language to the Indonesian language. But a leader in Indonesian is pemimpin, which is a quality. So I would say, I wouldn't say that this quote is 100% true. I have doubts about it. It may sound smart because it uses something that's this quote does sound smart because it uses two words that mean something very similar, but there is a distinction about it. And when you highlight that distinction, your quote will sound smart. Let me try to make a quote that also sounds smart, but is utterly bullshit. For example, um, water is wet, but sweet water is wetter well that sounds really dumb but you get what i'm saying you can create a similar effect creating quotes that sound brilliant while it has no meaning at all now okay Okay, happy morning, everyone. Good morning. I didn't understand why he said a uh, happy morning, even this is a night time, but it's okay. I love the vibe, the happy morning vibe. So, my name is Yusra, Toastmasters Yusra, and I'm from UMS Toastmasters Club, Division K, District 87, which is a Malaysian club. A Malaysian University Club. So I'm here today important from Malaysia. And <laughs> for the respondents for today, each one of the respondents will receive a gift from Malaysia for answering my question. <laughs> so the theme for today is leadership. You are the leader and the word is government. So I would like to open the floor for any first volunteer. Raise up your hand, please. Who wants to volunteer? Yeah, I see one hand. <laughs> still be here. So in my hand now, there's seven pieces of paper. And each table topic as for them will choose one to represent their topic. So choose one. And the topic will be, who makes a better leader, male or female? Ooh. I repeat, who makes a better leader, male or female? Ella. <laughs> okay, battle of the gender, I see it. I do believe that everyone can be a leader, so it doesn't matter what their gender are, they can be a good leader. The problem is, I believe, at least in Indonesia, women don't have as much opportunity as men. We grew up with this, in this patriarchy system where male is believed to be a better leader. So, 
we grew up to hear that over and over and over again until it became a truth for us somehow. And to change that thinking, that truth in our head, it's kind of hard. It needs a lot of effort. So while I do believe that everyone can be a good leader, I believe women, females, need to be given more chance, to be given more trust, so that we can also shine and make us a better leader for our future. Thank you. Thank you so much. And first, she's trying to play safe by saying that female and female <laughs> as good mm. as both both are good but then she tweets it and say women should give should be given more opportunity i like that and claim your souvenir letter for the next speaker who will volunteer is there any male who wants to stand up and and say anything else yeah i see another hand Which is what? So his topic. What kind of leaders inspire you? We have two minutes. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Hugh. People call me not a leader. And by the way, I, my pleasure to be over here, I come all the way from Vietnam and been here. So I'm so happy that I'm here because uh, there's a great leader in uh, the place we are uh, doing uh, the business, and her name is uh, Aurel, and she's the one who introduced me coming over here and um, having interaction with uh, everybody uh, in this club. So. Uh, the, the great leader who inspired me is actually everybody in every daily life who work very hard and stay focused to achieve her own goal. And the, the basic fact is that every one of us is actually a leader. And that is the most important leader needed to work every day, make uh, the world a better place to be, make your job better for a better company, and your company eventually is end up making a better product or service. And that is actually very important to, um, you know, to, to make the world a better place to be, right? And, and for that reason, um, Okay, yeah. <laughs> so the great leader that inspired me is the one who really work hard for and stay focused to get a good job done as is best. So thank you very much. Thank you so much for you. I think you can get your souvenir now. I didn't know there will be another guest from there now. And it's good to have you here. Are you a Toastmasters? Um, I used to be a Toastmasters. I think. Why not you be a new member in here? Yeah. You can get another international member. So next, my third topic. I would like to appoint you to choose another respondent. Yeah. A name has been mentioned. So hi, are you ready? You're from Vietnam also? No. No, you're from? Okay, I see a local. So choose your topic. Are you a leader or a follower? And here you cannot be both. Nice. Just choose one, a leader or a follower. Thank you for the time. So, am I a leader or a follower? Can anyone guess? Leader. 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 No. <laughs> 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 
right maybe just for your end i think so i just want to say thank you uh to all of my mentor that i have learned from this thank you thank you so much i love that she mentioned about the two-way communication which makes me want to choose my own next respondent who is being mentioned by her just now mm. so, to be on the stage Ooh. and because here there's your mentee there this is a question for you this is a situation based question your mentee is disqualified from a speech contest because of rap timing demonstrate how you will consult her What would I do if my mentee was disqualified? Actually, it happened in the previous speech contest, but it's not because of the time, it's more on the connection issues. Well, to be honest, I haven't said anything to her, but then again, when she entered the next contest, which is a table topic, and I gave evaluation, so what I would do later on, I would ask her how she felt about it, okay? Because what matters is how the mentee can govern her own feeling about that. Maybe it wasn't such a bad thing as I imagined, or maybe it was worse than I thought. So that's what I would ask her. But later on, I would ask her about what she would do next. Because getting battered by situation that is unfavorable is very common. But what decides a man or a woman to be a winner is how they get back, how they continue or how they move on. So I would ask her what she will do later on. So I guess knowing about her feeling and also knowing about her action plan is very important to be asked to the mentees who have such a bad experience because later on she will the one she will be the one who will continue the journey. Thank you so much. Thank you for the beautiful answer. Raymond, do we have any other time for one speaker? One more. one more speaker. So any last volunteer? I need one more volunteer. Salina. Salina wants to be. Name being appointed. Are you ready, Salina? You can <laughs> <laughs> you are being selected by others to come on the stage. <laughs> there is two topic left here. You can choose one, or you can answer both. I don't mind. <laughs> Which will be your last question? Can you read it out loud? Sorry about my shoes, yeah. It was it was web uh, web before of because of the rain. Uh, the question is question. <laughs> Do you consider yourself as a leader? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you consider yourself as a leader? Of course, yeah, since I'm a president of SSL's club. And you know that, I try to hide it and it's disappointing, maybe because of the bright uh, shirt that I have yellow today. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for the question. It's, um, it's always awake me to, to to conscious myself, my mind, especially I'm a leader. 
So I love to be a follower actually. I love the question that you throw to the the lady as a fact that <laughs> exactly I will uh, answer follower. But because of the repeat her uh, speech, <laughs> uh, because of the environment, because of the situation, because of the no many people wants to be the leader, and they told me I still so enough to be a great leader. So yeah, Harry, please be the leader, and I learn how to be a leader, right? Because in Toastmaster, where the leader are. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. That's a nice conclusion. A nice way to end your speech. And that's also the end of my double topic session. We need to finish together. Uh, thank you. Do you have any time? Maybe one or two minutes? Or that's the end? That's the end. That's the end. Okay. For the respondents just now, please claim your tip for me. And thank you for having me here tonight. Back to you, Masters. Uh, Cast the ballot first. Oh, yeah. the ballot. Yeah. Thank you again for round of applause to Toastmaster Yusra. But a challenge topic, yeah, and make us on fire. So please, everyone, cast your ballot. You can say, uh, scan on the screen. We are about to end in about 30 seconds. Okay. We are here again in the main room. Welcome to the main room. Let's call our Tom, Toastmaster Septi. Over to you. Well, thank you, Toastmaster Alvin. Um, actually, in my group, we still didn't find yet about the top performer. So, um, could you mind if we have a little bit extra time to cast our vote? Uh, yeah, please uh, send your direct message to Toastmaster Wira, your top yeah. topic master, who will be your most favorite. Okay, thank you for your understanding. And Toastmaster Wira, please uh, tell Toastmaster Debbie, our ballot counter, who is the winner from the online side. Thank you. Okay. So here I will give you uh, about 30 seconds to decide and also to send about the name that you chosen to be uh, the top performer from our group, guys. Where, well, while waiting, let's have a group photo from online Toastmasters. That would be great. That would be great. Please take the lead, Toastmaster Alvin. Okay, so this is for online Toastmasters. For offline Toastmasters, we will have photo after meeting, yeah? Okay, please open your camera. Toastmaster Gennison, Toastmaster Jesse, Natasha. Open your cam. Don't be shy. Okay, we'll take three photo. Are you ready? This is the okay. Thank you, Natasha. The first photo sh should be the normal one, yeah. Just your uh father, father, or mother, mother po pose. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, pose. Okay, uh, thank you. And now please, your wilder one, please. If there is anyone who post normal, I will repeat the photo session. <laughs> okay. Wild, wild photo. Three, two, one. 
Okay, over to you, Toastmaster Sefti. Woo. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Alvin. So, can we mute yourself, please? Okay, thank you. Yes. Well, right now, uh, I would ask Toastmaster Vera. Have we got the winner? Yeah, I, I haven't got uh, I haven't got the winner yet. They still is still tie. So okay. for the online peeps, I was hoping that can you please vote so we can determine who is the winner. Hmm. Okay. So right now I would give a uh, extra time like uh, thirty seconds, guys. Uh, yeah. Cast uh, your vote, please. Uh, um... Proceed to the next. Uh, we can uh, do the voting while on the GE session, please. Or could we just uh, ask the Toastmaster Wira just to decide by himself, Toastmaster Alvin? Yes. Uh, do you have? Yeah, I know how to vote this. Is there a link? Oh no. Just oh, DM to me. Just DM to me. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Just can we uh, private message it to uh, Toastmaster Wira? Wira. All right. Thank you. Fifteen seconds left, guys. Oh, no. uh, online, they have their own in the offline. Okay. Okay, I think time is enough. How about right now, Does Master Vera? Online. Uh, yes, she's okay. finished. Sorry, uh, seems like on offline has also not have the winner yet. Please uh, okay. share the screen again, maybe. Okay. Hmm. Okay. How will we, if we add the time for one minute? Okay, one minute. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is only for online. Eh, sorry, offline. Okay, for offline attendance, please scan this and okay. How about now? <clears throat> okay, it seems like we have a lot of competitive soul, okay. yeah? 30 so, seconds. Okay, now please uh, proceed. To the next session, Toastmaster Safety. Thank you. 15 seconds. Okay. Five, four, Five, three, eight. two, one. Okay. Time is up. Let me call our table topic masters. Uh, point of order, GE, yeah. GE, please. Okay. GE. Okay. Yeah. So right now we would move to evaluation session, which is would be led by Toastmaster Yvonne. Thank you. Thank you. Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Safety. Yeah, wonderful. So all right. Now moving on our on to our last session, the evaluation session. So why we have this session since after we make the speech, the speech session is very hard for us to answer by our own. So as a relater, an evaluation will give us feedback so that we can improve and become a better 
communicator. So now, uh, today we have the three speakers in this session. We will have three evaluators and they will give their feedback to our speakers. And the other point that I would like to uh, share in this session, actually, we have the three parts. The first one is individual evaluator, and the second one is the language evaluator is our grammarian. And last one is general evaluator for the evaluation. Uh, evaluator hold the entire meeting for tonight's the program. So first, uh, I would like to invite uh, our first uh, evaluator Tonight, our first uh, evaluator is uh, uh, Andy Carr, and he will be evaluating our first uh, speaker. Our first uh, speaker is Thomas Levy. So everyone, please help me uh, to welcome our first uh, evaluator, Andy Carr. Welcome, the stage is yours. People forget facts, but they remember stories. That's why gossip is tasty, isn't it? Yes. Who in here loves stories? A few. Hmm. This is a tough crowd. So when distinguished Toastmaster Ravi told a story, especially personal story about his mom, our brain neuron is governed and we try to mirror what distinguished Toastmaster Ravi is experiencing, right? So we get captivated by his stories, especially when he opened his speech with story. Now, based on Neuro Leadership Institute, there are three ways that we, the three ways is proper to tell a story. And tonight, the singer Stosmas Ravi is demonstrating it. The first one is be captivating. So he got the audience attention instantly because he used his personal story, which is very engaging. The story about his beloved one. Well, everyone in here also have beloved one. So we can relate. Personal story is always engaging. And the second one, be expressive. Did you see the Sugustos Masravi go on and on the camera and then also make his voice louder and then softer? especially when he said, Ma has slept for two years. So we could relate to his feeling. So I guess variety of photo and hand gesture, hand gesture are the way to be expressive, to engage the audience. And also, the Sumistos Masravi has a very strong message. So that's the next one, to tell a story, be insightful. So we have be captivating, be expressive, and be insightful. Did you hear the strong message that he conveyed in the story? He said, when things go well, stop. Do not take things for granted. And think again about what happened. So I guess the way he repeated his strong message govern us to think, oh, that's the lesson that we got from his story. So what can be improved for this English Masravi is to use more direct sentence. Especially when you tell a story, we want to hear about your real conversation with the other person. For example, oh, I don't know, I have to go now. It will be more engaging, but on and on, I guess we always can learn from the Swiss Toastmasteravi that stories is compelling. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Chief the evaluator Annika, big applause. Thank you so much. Very wonderful evaluation. So now let us move on our second evaluator. Tonight our second evaluator is Toastmaster Lai, and he will be evaluating our second speaker, the Toastmaster Naliu. Everyone, please welcome Toastmaster Lai. Thank you. ก็ต้องนึกเรื่องแบบไปมาอัสเตทเรื่องแบบไปมาอัสเตทเรื่องแบบไปมาอัสเตทเรื่องแบบไปมาอัสเตทเรื่องแบบไปมาอัสเตท
I'm actually convinced that if I give you time, you could prepare an amazing speech on this topic or in any other topic for upwards of 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And for that, you achieved your project objective really well. How can I be so sure? Because I saw three dimensions in your speech. First is your content. You have well-researched content that you even show your references, and this makes your content credible. Second, your delivery. Your delivery. You went left and right on the stage. You went to the audience. You went ups and downs. You've mastered the, the way to deliver your speech. And this is something you're very comfortable of, that the audience can see your comfort level, and the audience follows your comfort level makes them want to hear you and the third dimension is wait a second connection you connected with the audience by bringing them to the stage by giving examples from audiences what they are what the audiences are wearing this creates a connection with the audience and i'm sure everyone that you called on stage really likes you after your speech but but as we often say, as Einstein often says, there are more than three dimensions. There are something we can always work on. And that I will suggest is in a 20 minute speech and in a 20 minute informative speech, there must be statistically one or two things that each and every one of us does not agree with. Maybe I don't agree with your facts that I don't fully agree with something you said about body type or undertones. Maybe I don't fully agree with something. That's just my personal opinion. But of course, there are something the audience will disagree with. You will need to, uh, you will need to handle the disagreements the audience gives without them having the chance to disagree with you. This is where disclaimers come in. This is a really handy tool for trainers and someone that needs to speak for a very long amount of time to not have them uh, to handle disagreements of facts from the audience before they could even arise. And second thing is, I'm sorry to say this, but people generally don't have an attention span of 20 minutes. And I just realized I haven't changed my camera to the camera on my laptop. And People don't have an attention span for 20 minutes, so we you will need to constantly remind the audience of your three points of body type, undertone, and what's the, th what's the third one again? See, that shows my point. So what you can do is before your first point, you show a slide containing one, two, three. And then after you finish your first point, going to your second point, you show the other slide going one, two, three. And this will really cement your three points to the audience. All right. Uh, because the nature of your speech, 20 minutes, I have a lot to talk about. And yeah, I would love to talk with you personally to go more in depth about this because I'm really passionate about this. And I'm really impressed with how well you spoke and controlled the stage today. Back to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster oh, Jameson. Wonderful. Hello, everyone. Kim Blur, three evaluator, big applause. Very wonderful evaluation. Thank you. Now, let us, uh, may I, uh, the timer report, may I have the timer report? Hello, Toastmaster Agon. Can you give us the evaluator timer? Still muted, that's Master Agung. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I was I was so hooked by the evaluators. So uh the congratulations to both three speakers because they already delivered with such a eloquent and also very good one. But for eligibility, I'm so sorry, Toastmaster Jennison, you're not eligible to be voted. So Two evaluators are eligible to be voted to Master Andika and to Master Lai. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, two evaluators are eligible. Yeah, thank you so much. 
Okay, now let's move on the general evaluation is the report for our tonight's meeting. First, I would like to invite our, our counter report. Uh, so please, would you please our, our counter? Hello. Toastmaster yeah, Wuyun. Yeah, yes. Toastmaster Wuyun. Toastmaster Wuyun, can you hear? Uh, point of order, Toastmaster Yvonne. We do voting first. Uh, ballot counter, Toastmaster okay. Debbie. Shared. Okay. okay. And the uh, key are for offline meet attendance. Anyone? Oh, your vote. Oh, on the chat room, I a link. Okay, one minute is up. Okay, thank you, our friend. Okay. Okay, one minute is up. You're still muted, Toastmaster Ivan. Okay, thank you. So now let's move on the report. First, uh, may I invite uh, our our counter with hello, Toastmaster Win. The stage yours, please. Hello, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster Yvonne. So happy morning, everyone. Back with me again, Uyun as a NWO counter today. And you can see uh, the screen. Okay. Can I draw something here? Will it affect? Oh yeah. Oh okay. Okay. So uh, there is a small note that I could take today. Uh, first, I would love to focus on the WOD. It's governed and it relates with the ta table topic. Uh, table topics topics today. So it was a missed opportunity for, mo especially uh, for table topic speaker. If your topic is about leader, I guess there are opportunities for you to say govern. And for the table topic speaker, let's see. Toastmaster Andika made one. I think Toastmaster Yusra as the table topic speaker uh, mentioned it uh, to encourage everyone. So yeah, only Toastmaster Yusra and Toastmaster Andika mentioned govern because Toastmaster Andika other two WOD during the evaluation. And uh, other than that, Toastmaster Nune and Toastmaster Lai also mentioned WOD. So congratulations for being able to incorporate our WOD in your speech. And for the AH uh, usage for today, I would love to appreciate because uh, some people did not mention any filler word. For example, Hall of Fame for Toastmaster Debbie, Toastmaster Ravi, uh, Distinguished Toastmaster Ravi, uh, Toastmaster Yusra, Toastmaster Rasita, Toastmaster Aura, Toastmaster Andika, and let's see, Toastmaster, uh, Toastmaster Lai. Uh, um, yeah, and uh, there are some people mentioned uh, more than three filler words, but when I observe it, it was like small or I would love to say it's half ah, <laughs> because it's not ah, uh, but uh, it's very quick, it's very subtle, or even something that is actually the size of the speech, for example. All right. 
then so it's something actually called as filler word i would say because it, it doesn't actually give meaning to your speech so because i said that i did not give this count today so i count that as a, a filler sound and for some repetitive uh, it was also half kind of repetitive because i think it's not something that you stutter like if 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 but um how to say yeah you have have blah 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 so it's half repetitive so still okay lah but uh i mean why i would love to have repetition because meaning that you have chance to reduce it for your next speech so overall i like uh that i was not very busy for counting the filler sounds but i would love to encourage everyone to use our wod in the next occasions and a bit of tip yesterday uh there was edu speak edu session who's uh at is lady marina who is a news anchor and then i learned from her i asked question uh how to be uh what is my question i forgot but actually <laughs> uh her answer is that you have to be calm you have to be calm um i forgot what is my question but it resonates to me because usually i like <laughs> panic and then nervous but being calm can help her to how to say like to stay focused on the content and reduce in our case maybe uh, to reduce the use of filler sounds so we have some examples of calm speaker maybe you can name someone who is calm speaker in this room Toastmaster Andika and the one who said Toastmaster Resita is also calm Toastmaster Yusra is also a calm speaker so uh, maybe we can learn from them and especially me <laughs> i hope i can reduce my filler sounds as well so uh, you can do as well and back to you toastmaster ivon thank you thank you thank you for our work counter wuyin yeah did a very great job her thank you so now let's move on our next report is uh, our grammarian reporter. So tonight our grammarian is offering. So everyone will come grammarian offering. The stage is yours. Thank you. Can you hear me? Online? Yes. 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 Okay, welcome to grammar session. First is about pronunciation. This first one is when someone say thank you, you say same, same, <laughs> same. So, so please repeat after me online Toastmaster, please unmute yourself. Same. 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 Not same, yeah, because same. same. Someone's same. 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 Okay, uh, please scroll. And then please repeat after me. These. These. So there are a little Z there, right? Z. And then perfect. Perfect. A little Z on the edge. Perfect. Perfect. Not perfect, yeah. Not perfect. Uh, that perfect is not perfect. <laughs> okay, and then done. Done. Louder done. Done. And then the next one, the last one is important. Don't. Don't. There is a T on the edge, yeah. Don't. If you forget the T, what do you mean? Are you done or are you don't, right? Okay, next, uh, for a grammar correction, I hear someone say, sleep make us healthier. I believe sleep is singular. So I mean, I, in my opinion, it should be, there is ice or S, yeah? Sleep makes us healthier. And then I hear someone say, I am a little challenged. So I believe it should be I'm a little challenge because you are someone that be challenged, right? If you mean you are challenging someone, you are challenging. And then I hear someone say, I need to be me time. I believe the me time is activity. So it should be, I need to do a me time. I need to do jogging and et cetera. And in my opinion, when someone say this was me, when that is you,
old or before you wearing makeup, for example, this was me and now this is me. So I believe the picture is uh, the speaker's recent situation. So I, in my opinion, it should be, this is me. All right, uh, scroll down more. And I say someone, I think, right? Uh, it should be no S, right? And he go on and off. I believe this is just a reminder. I believe the speakers understand. Should be he went on and off. It is understandably we forget the, the tense when we are speaking. But as grammarian, our job is keep reminding you, keep reminding you over and over. And I also hear someone say stories is compelling. I believe stories should, is plural here because there is an ice. And uh, in my opinion, it should be are, stories are compelling. If, if you refer to singular, it should be story is compelling. Scroll down, please. And quotes or use of idiom from ear to ear. I like this so much by Distinguished Toastmaster Ravi. You can use someone's smile ear to ear, right? You break uh, the cheek here, ear to ear, but it use good use of word. And a reminder, strong reminder, reminder, do not take things for granted. Be grateful from Distinguished Toastmaster Ravi as well. We work on the day, we sleep at the night. Remember for, from Toastmaster Nuning, don't forget to sleep today. We still have tomorrow. And from Toastmaster Nuning as well, govern our emotion, still a good reminder. And then a very good word, uh, vocabulary, rejuvenate. Uh, anyone still remember what is rejuvenate? Refresh ourselves. <laughs> yeah, kind of become younger or refreshed. I still remember I got this word of the day from Maranatha Toastmaster, yeah, rejuvenate. And I love this one, click and clack for a brighter life by Toastmaster Donna. Ooh, what a lovely speaker. And I also hear from our Toastmaster Hugh, every one of us is actually a leader, of course, at least for ourselves. And from Toastmaster Andika, very strong reminder, whatever winners for with others is how they move on. Amazing. That's all. Back to you, GE Toastmaster Yvonne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, our grammarian. Very uh, comprehensive uh, the grammarian. Some do's. Yeah, I learned a lot. Thank you so much. So now let's uh, move on our today general evaluation, the last session, general evaluator. Yeah, for me, I will give some uh, feedback and uh, for what my observation from the today's meeting, the entire meeting. So first, uh, uh, at the very beginning of the meeting, we can see Toastmaster are going to give us the rule, the regulation of the meeting for ahead of the meeting. It's awesome. It's very wonderful. And we also can see the guests warmly welcome by our club officers and the member and the members. Next, I thank for our Toastmaster of the day. Sabin, uh, he actually he gave us a very awesome. He leading us into today's the meeting theme. So. Uh, gave us start our today's meeting on time. And next, about the meeting rules, I think all the meeting rules properly introduced by each session master. It's very smoothly. And about the speaker speech, we can see the all speaker speech, their speech objective actually is clearly introduced by the evaluator, individual evaluator is good. And next, uh, I think today's speaker, three speaker, very, very wonderful and very remarkable speech. For the, the second speaker, actually give me a lot of input. It inspired me a lot. I learned 
some very informative speech. Uh, she gave us a very uh, daily, like uh, some people actually have a sleeping problem, but she gave us how to discover the powerful speech, powerful of the sleep. I learned a lot. And our third speaker, Hona, very professional speech, uh, helped me how to recognize my personality and even how to recognize our body type. I think that is awesome, very awesome, very fabulous speech for all content and the talent performance. Yeah, it's wonderful. And all speakers actually, they are eligible for very congratulations to them. Okay, so moving to our when Marion, uh, actually, today when Marion, uh, he, he was quickly substituted the original evaluate the Marion, but he also gave us a very, uh, very comprehensive the Grand Marion, give us a good instruction to how to improve our English. Uh, talking about the, uh, I think move on to evaluator. I also learn a lot. They give a very uh, useful and very constructive feedback to our speakers for the improvement. Yeah, this is what I learned from today's the today's meeting. But uh, I have a suggestion for the on-site meeting. Or well, sometimes I. I'm not sure if my computer has the problem. Sometimes occasionally the microphone seems uh, the volume very soft. Like when Andy Carr, he, he made a speech, I couldn't clear understanding and clear her, what his uh, speech. So maybe I think the microphone has some, uh, some problem. Okay, all in all, I think that today, tonight's meeting is very awesome and uh, I learned uh, a lot of something uh, like uh, something I didn't hear before, but from the speaker, their speech, I learned a lot. It's very awesome. Everyone did a very good job. And the last, uh, I would like to thank for the all prepared speaker and all the Role taker, what your contribution and the, your language, yeah, to the to the tonight's meeting. Actually, without your contribution, we impossible have tonight's meeting. Thank you. Now let me uh back to I think the last report is the whole of fan. Let me invite our baby, baby. Hello. The whole of them. Okay, now we are going to announce the winner. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Yoo-hoo. Thanks for the winner. Okay. Okay. The first one is we are going to announce the winner for the most favorite prepare speech speaker and the winner is could you guess online or offline offline is it so master alvin please next slide you yeah. master donna is the winner for the most favorite prepared speech how do we going to? Uh, 
Wow. Come on, that's Master Dora. I love your outfit tonight. <laughs> Anyone taking a picture? Well done, Dos Master Dona. Okay, next. Since we have no battle for the table topics tonight, so we have two winners. One is from the online, and the other one is from the offline here. So we're going to announce the offline first. And who do you think is the most favorite? Table topic speaker in offline. Karina, Andika, Resita. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move to the next slide, please. And the most favorite table topic offline is Toastmaster Andika. Here you are. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so next is the most favorite table topics online speaker. Can we guess? <laughs> yes, we don't know who is the participant in the online session. So please, uh, Toastmaster Alvin, the next slide is Toastmaster Ganison. Are you still here? <laughs> okay, listen. Are you already take a sleep? <laughs> you took the Toastmaster Nooning advice to sleep. <laughs> Have a been good sleep. Toastmaster Genison? Okay. Oh, okay. My camera is correct. Okay, my, my camera is correct. Ready? We're ready. One, two, and three. Okay. Thank you. And the last one. Most favorable, the most favorite evaluator. We have only two candidates. Handika, are you sure? <laughs> This, this those master lies being humble. <laughs> okay, Miss uh, those master Alvin, please the next slide. The most favorite evaluator is those master Andika. Again, I'm calling you to go on stage again. Here, <laughs> Malik. Thank you. And congratulations to all the winners online and offline. So that's all the report. Okay, back to you, G. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Davy. Yeah, I'm also very happy to see all the winners. Everyone, let's give them a big applause, the winner for tonight's meeting. Okay, now uh, let me control my, let me return my control back to our Toastmaster of the day, Sapti. Thank you. Hello. Thank you, Toastmaster Yvonne. Okay. Well, I'm so sorry, guys. Maybe you caught me that I have a glitching videos <laughs> during the meeting. So, um, I'm sorry. Maybe it would be better if I close my camera. Ah, yeah, so I wanted to say congrats to winners. That's all for tonight meeting, guys. I love the way the people who govern by their roles during the meeting, who appreciate it. Hope the hype of the, that we felt tonight still exists until our upcoming meeting, which is 17th uh, February. 
if I'm not mistaken. However, I'd like to welcome any evolutions from all of you to improve myself in this role. Can you chat me personally? Yeah. <laughs> but I really appreciate it, um, for sure. So right now, I give the control back to our Vice President of Education, Toastmaster Alvin. Congratulations, Toastmaster Sati. Today, everyone, we are coming to a CBD session. And for the CBD Toastmaster Center, we are going to come to the Toastmaster questions from IDs or from online, maybe from Zoom. Are you still there? Toastmaster Lin Ahmi. Yes. Hello, Toastmaster Lin. Cikgu Lin, I believe yeah. Okay. Um, you want you want me to well, uh, give my opinion then? Okay, I, I I love that I choose to come to uh, this meeting. I really love all the speeches. I learned a lot. You all get good, very good uh, speaker tonight. And I, I love how you all handle everything. And it's very, um, how do I say? Um, very vibrant, but very active. And we get that. Uh, though it's online, but we really feel that it's uh, exciting. Congratulations and th congratulations, everyone. I would love to come again. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, we'll start again next week. Yeah, we have another hybrid next week. And um, next, I would like to invite Toastmaster Azhar. Hello, Toastmaster Azhar. What do you think about our meeting tonight, Toastmaster Azhar? Hello, everyone. Good evening. Thank you, Toastmaster Alvin. I love the meeting. You actually, I think it was done professionally. Number one, I love the breakout session uh, for the TT session. I thought, at first, I thought we we're going to have a contest because we never had any breakout session during a meeting. So that was good. Secondly, I also, uh, there was some innovation that you did, like voting uh, using uh, easy poll for the online uh, audience. And also there is a QR, QR code for the offline or rather the, the people on site. That is very creative of you. The only thing that uh, if I can improve, us to be improved is the mic that you're using because there were a few times that we couldn't hear what, some of the speakers were saying, especially during the uh, evaluation. So perhaps you might want to test that for people uh, online uh, before the meeting. Otherwise, it has been a lovely meeting, very productive, and uh, it was rather smooth. Thank you very much, Tim Alfin. Yeah, thank you, Professor Azar, for always coming to the CBT. Yes, yes uh, I admit the sound still needs a lot of work. I admit that when the speaker is from online, I switch the microphone to the webcam so it can record the voice of the audience. But then when the speaker is from offline, I switch the, the microphone from this. And sometimes I forget to change the microphone when before the before that the speaker is from online, I use that webcam as the, the, as the microphone. And then when the speakers now in is from offline, I forget to change to offline microphone. I think that is a good observation. Other, we keep learning yeah, every week. All right, thank you. Maybe I would like to have a word from our visiting Toastmasters. Maybe uh, Toastmaster Nia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Toastmaster Nia is uh, also a subscriber yeah, for oh, <laughs> 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 
thank you for coming with uh, the and how do you feel after this meeting? I feel very happy, so glad to meet you all here. And it is such a exciting hybrid meeting, uh, like usually. Uh, those masters always have a good session in their meeting, hybrid or off or online meeting. And tonight, I I see our Nesta from Malaysia. <laughs> it is such a happy moment for us to meet you all here. It's we appreciate your. Uh, your attendance, your participation to this meeting, and I really love to meet you. And I really, really, really thrilled to uh, be here in SDB Toastmasters Club. Okay, if you don't know me, I'm from the Ultimate Toastmasters Club <laughs> as the PCPR. And uh, let's meet again on Tuesday. We have debate session. Joint meeting from SDB, the ultimate, and the essential Ghostmasters Club. So that's it. That's it for me. Back to Christmas Club. Thank you, Ghostmaster Mina. From Old Minet, yeah. Thank you for coming. Secondly, uh, and one last from Ghostmaster Fahmi from Essential. Yeah, I think we can put those terms, Ghostmaster Fahmi, Sunny Rock. Okay, that's my kind of funny. What do you think about hybrid meeting? Open the profile of it. I really enjoyed the meeting. I may not be engaged too much today because I feel really cold <laughs> <laughs> and my shoes are wet. So I'm sorry about that. But yes, I I would I really enjoyed the meeting tonight and I was very impressed on how you managed the hybrid session and having the people offline and online to be engaged. And I especially want to give a lot of kudos to you who handles a lot of payments at the same time. So please I will I'm going to talk as much as possible. I'm so really appreciate his uh, job tonight and every meeting. So I really enjoy it. this is also my first time um, attending all the offline meetings since the start of uh, since the pandemic started. So Yes, the, the energy is very different in our final meeting, and I kind of missed it. Yeah. Thank you very much. 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 Thank Thank you sir. Thank you very much. Thank you uh, I echo the comments uh, made by my good friend and compatriot Tuan Azhar Hotman on the, the way the meeting conducted. This is a hybrid meeting. Not easy to pull off an act like this. And I think uh, simply stupendous, uh, fantastic. Uh, but I appreciate his comments on the volume on the mic. Uh, it failed for two of the evaluators, uh, though the third prepared speaker was good. So I don't know whether it's the mic or the way it's being held. I'm not too clear. but. Yes, that's one area to look into. And second is I like the table topic breakout session. But what I really wanted to share is um, now uh, we know that the standard for evaluation, the timing is two to three minutes. That's the standard for a five to seven minute speech. Now think very carefully. If one were to deliver a longer speech, say in the case of this evening, 20 minutes, will it do it justice? to dish out to him the same two to three minutes. We say that evaluations are the breakfast of champions, but yet we are not giving the full course. We are not putting the full meal. Uh, the TI allows, but of course, this is by prior request. Eh? Uh, before the meeting, if a longer time is required, whether for the speech or for an evaluation, they can make a request and the VP has the power to grant it. Um, of course, subject to time availability in the day's program. I myself have gone through this many times. There are some speeches I deliver more than five to seven minutes. 
which I think many of you will understand. Me going through my second DTM, a five to seven minute speech is no big deal. I like to rattle something longer. Uh, but of course, subject to time availability. And I also expect a longer evaluation. So think about it. Uh, I'm not putting or forcing anything down anybody's throat, but uh, think about it, whether it makes sense. In future, try to accommodate uh, because we all want to benefit from the feedback. Thank you and back to you, sir, for a wonderful meeting. I'm glad I was here this evening. A lot I learned from the speakers. Thank you. Yeah, I think Mr. Ravi, I agree with you yeah, for a longer space. Sometimes we need more time to give feedback. So we need to talk uh, this uh, with the another ISCO or education committee and the duration of evaluating a longer space. Thank you, Mr. Ravi, Mr. Ravi. And that's all for today. Next week, we have another hybrid. Yeah. Um, we have six marathon. Okay, I think the meeting is already already adjourned, right? Okay. Thank you. Very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Right. I'll see you again. Bye, bye. See you again. Bye. Thank you so much for the attending. Thank you. Have a nice week and all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, I shall close the session. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> the close the door is.